important. It's important to gain more control of your time, freedom, and energy. This is the ultimate these are the ultimate ways on how to go about it. No, it's there's no like clear way like, oh, you have to do these steps in order to make it happen. No, but this is what worked for me. So this is what I'm sharing with you guys. It's free and it's only a limited time only. So make sure you watch this video, but watch the end of the video by um, next Monday because I'm taking all of these free trainings down, okay? So let's go ahead and get to it. So this is gonna also help you guys make when you are going through each and every day, it makes it more real when you're actually creating an exit strategy from your current job. You won't the the self doubts, the excuses, the fears, they won't they won't they'll probably they're probably going to be there. However, it's not going to be as strong. Like it's not going to really you're going to be able to hear your inner self versus your the critic in you. You know, that critic in you is not going to be as loud as your truth, like your your inner true self your higher self, your higher power, the new self that I was talking about earlier this week, the one, and you're divorcing from the old self, the one that's having all these excuses and doubts and fears, and you're you're putting yourself, you're stepping into a higher power of you, okay? And you're finally trying to own it, okay? So you gotta own it, all right? The first way to really create an exit strategy, you guys, is think about what would it take for you to actually quit your job Okay, I know we've all had fantasies about quitting your job. Like, oh my gosh, I could just really walk out right now. Like, if you guys, I'm done type of thing. But really, like, what would it take? What what has been holding you back on actually quitting your job? And when you when you figure out what is actually getting in the way, you're able to really reflect and think, is this worth it? Like, do is my dream even worth it? Is it worth sacrificing this job that I am working at right now? In, although I hate it, although it, it, I'm unfulfilled, I'm frustrated, I'm burnt out, I still like have this consistent paycheck, for example, or I still have these clients that I still want to work with. I don't want them to feel um, neglected. I don't want to leave them type of thing, you know, and all these, these, those type of things, you know, get deep, figure out what's really holding you back. Okay. And for example, the, the money situation, we'll get to that. And then the other example that I gave was clients leaving clients behind. You guys, take good notes and you're going to be just fine. All you got to do is take good notes and to make sure that the person that replaces you, well, nobody's going to replace you, but the person that fills in your position once you quit is going to be able to look at the notes and pick up exactly where you left off. You know, it's going to suck. It's going to be sad. However, this is not about them. This is about you. This is about you, your future, your family, and your family's future. Okay? There, there's a lot here that you got to consider. All right? So with that being said, you really have to take it seriously. All right? What's holding you back? And then take it seriously. Like, this is my dream. This, this I actually want to make this happen. Okay? It's not fantasy anymore. You're trying to make this reality. You're working towards making it reality. All right. So the second thing that I want to mention is identify the amount of money that you desire to make in a month to fit your re rewritten story. Day one, we talked about you be rewriting your story. What is your story? Where are you at in your story? And when I say rewriting it, it's really like, what do you want your current reality to look like? Write it down type of thing. Now, how much money would you be making in order to afford the lifestyle that you love to live? Think about it. Think about it. Think about the amount of money that you want to make. What is it? 5,000, 10,000, 20,000? Write it down. It don't matter. It's your life. It's your dream. It's your the ideal lifestyle that you want to live. Figure it out. Write it out. Okay? And then the third thing is when spe um, when specifically do you want to actually quit your job? Is it is it three months from now, six months, a year, five years, ten years? It's all up to you. I challenge you to make it sooner than ten years. <laughs> I mean, okay, this is your dream. Like, how how sick of you are? How how tired of you? How tired are you of staying stuck with where you're at right now in life, your current reality? How tired of you of being where you're at right now? And it's costing you your happiness. How long are you going to be unhappy 
working somewhere that you freaking hate. You got to have a plan. You got to have a date. Set a date. That's going to make it real. And it's going to also make it worth. Um, you're, you have something to work and to look forward to. Okay. So let's say, let's say it's two years from now. Okay. So April, 2022, and I am, I'm working, working, working. And actually now nah, I'm going to say like, like December, okay. December, 2020. Okay. Let's stretch yourselves. So December, 2020, I'm going to quit my job and I have, um, a few, I have a couple few months to figure out how to get to that point. Okay. So this, this is December. So that means I'm working my ass off to make sure that I am able to quit this job that I feel unfulfilled at and able to live my dream and make this money, make this money, quit my job, make it happen. That's all that it takes, you guys. What have you been doing? Not that <laughs> you haven't been working towards, um, working towards your dream to making this real. Then holding it back, putting it on the back burner. No, no more of that. It's time, because guess what? When you're productive, I'm gonna give you guys a little tip. So when you're productive, let's say an hour, um, let's say you're working a full-time job, and afterwards, add two hours. So that's two hours, you set a timer, and then you are working on your business. You are working on your business two hours, uninterrupted, no distractions. And if you got kids, may, you could do it like, I don't know, I'm I'm not a parent or anything. However, there's ways of going about it though. You have time. You have time. You can push through. If this is if this is something that you really wanted, you guys, parents, non-parents, whatever, this is something that you really wanted to have your own business, something of your own, build your own empire for yourself, your future, your future family, you guys. You're going to put in the work to actually make that happen for yourself. Okay, so working towards it, working towards something. And yeah, that, that's all that I got to say about that, though. And then I also want to add when it comes to creating an exit strategy is thinking about um, your definition of failure and also self-doubt. So I will start with failure. So when it comes to failure, it's probably going to happen. You're probably going to fall on your ass, especially if you're doing this on your own. You're going to fall on your ass because this is something new. You're getting your feet wet in unknown waters. And that's okay. That is okay. So when you fail, instead of taking it as a loss, take it as a lesson. This is a lesson. This is going to help you grow and get better. Okay? People that are millionaires, billionaires are still making mistakes and they're still growing. Okay? When you're, whenever you try something new, it's not going to be perfect. It's not, it's never going to be perfect when you're trying something new. Never. So know that each, each thing that you come across, even if it's success, whether it's success or failure, success or failure, treat it as you growing, you up leveling. Take a fail as you up leveling to something better, something you, the universe is making room for something better for you. That's exactly what that is. Okay. Know that. Remember it. Okay. And then self-doubt. Self-doubt as in like, you're afraid that you're not good enough. Um, what makes me feel like I have the audacity? And I, I talked about this earlier too. What makes me feel like I have the audacity to even have my own business, be an entrepreneur? Like I've never done this before. How... What makes me credible? What makes me, what gives me the right? Am I worth it? Do I deserve it? What will people think of me? Will they expose me? You guys know, I hear this and I've felt it before. Like I've heard this, but from people that I've talked to and I've also felt it before. So I know what imposter syndrome feels like and I know how to get through it. And part of it is really at the end of the day, not thinking about them, not having them live rent free in your mind, but you, you having the control knobs of your mind, body, and spirit and doing what, live in life as you make it, live life as you make it. Okay. So yeah, failure, self-doubt, and just, you got to believe in yourself. I, as a coach, I believe in you and I put my 1000% energy in my one-on-one -on -one clients. But I will say this, I can't believe in you more than you. I can't, I can't do the work for you. You have to, you have to put in your part too. You have to put in your time, energy, effort, faith, passion, 
funds into your dream. You have to. You have to. If you are serious, if you seriously want to be an entrepreneur, you have to put in the work. Okay. And I know when I first started that I definitely was taking in a lot of free information and I was like, okay, okay, I got all this information. It's got a binder full of information. And the thing is, is like, you can, you can get all the information in the world, but you're going to, when you do that, you're stuck in analysis paralysis and analysis paralysis is when you, you keep researching and you, you're stuck. You haven't made, you haven't started. And a lot of people are like, I don't know where to start. But it's because you feel like it has to be a perfect start, but it doesn't. You just do it. You just do it <laughs> imperfectly because there's so many, there's so many different ways on how to go about being anything in life, anything, but especially an entrepreneur. There's multiple ways of going about it. There's no perfect set way on going about it. And I know a lot of coaches, a lot of people are going to be like, well, in these five steps, this is all it's going to take. Well, the five steps that worked for me may not work for you. I mean, that's just what it is. The five days that I went through, it may not work. I want you guys to at least try, though, to at least try the information that you guys been getting from not only me, but a lot of other freebies, a lot of other master classes and stuff like that. Well, masterminds. Like, take advantage. Actually take action. Implement the steps that are being taught to you and see if it works. And if it doesn't, then do the next one. There are so many different ways. Because what works for somebody, what works for me may not work for you. What worked for her may not work for you. Like, you guys. So try it. Do it. Take messy action and be okay with failing, with falling on your ass. Because know that you are up-leveling. You're up-leveling to something better. Okay, but that is all that I have for you guys for the five day free training.